Hi everyone, in this tutorial I will teach how to work with integer variables in the Unreal Engine 4. How to create an integer variable, how to load the variable value, how to work with the amount and how to compare the amount. Let's start, first, let's get into our character properties and let's go to the event graph. Let's create a new variable, which will be an integer variable. Let's give a name to that variable, that will be, total amount. After that, we will start adding events and functions so we can load our variable in the game, when it starts. Let's create a function and let's give it a name. Now inside our function, we will need to set our variable with a value. That will be 100. This will tell the engine that every time the game starts, the value for our variable will be 100. After creating your variables, you can also compile, so you can have the properties of your variables and add different values inside their properties. Now, let's add an event begin play so we can load our function when the game starts. Let's link the event with our function. Now, every time the game starts, it will tell the engine what value that variable has. Let's create a new function, in this one, we will add different events that will tell the total amount that the variable has. Drag the variable to the event graph and select get. The variable already has a value result. Now, right click and type or search for, integer minus integer. Now, connect the value with the upper entrance, from here. The engine will take minus 5 from the 100 that it has for a value. Giving the new result, every time he runs this function. Now, drag once again your variable into the graph and select set. This will set the new result value for this variable. Now, let's use a branch. This will help to compare numbers, so every time it gets to 0. It stays on 0 and not on minus 0, minus 5, or minus 10. This will help for creating different options when comparing the result. Now, right click, search and select for integer minus and equal to integer. Now, connect the upper entrance with the result that has been set. For the other entrance, leave it on 0. Connect the result with a condition, this will tell if it's on 0 or not. Now, we need to add two sets of the variable, here we can decide what we want to do if the result is true or not. If is true, then the result for the variable will be, 0. Let's add the print text function, so we can know if it's working or not. Now, connect the value result to the text, of the print text function, so it can be viewed on your screen. Now. Let's do the same for the false result. From the first set that we added, let's get the result that the variable should have in the moment. Let's add the print text function, so we can know if it's working or not. Now, connect the value result to the text of the print text function, so it can be viewed on your screen. Our work inside the function has been done. Let's continue on the event graph of our character. We need to add an event key, let's use the spacebar, so every time spacebar is pressed, it should run our functions.
Let's connect our event key with the function. Verify that everything is correctly done. Compile and test the game. Verify on your upper left of the screen for the results. As you can see, when it gets to zero, it stays on zero. Let's make a little change. Instead of showing the results on the screen, let's show a text that we want people to see when it gets to zero. There we have, our result when n gets to zero. This is Pate from PRDV Entertainment. Hope to see you around on our next tutorials. For more tutorials of the Unreal Engine, don't forget to subscribe and stay up to date with our latest tutorials. Goodbye and thanks for watching.